Good morning and welcome. Uh, I still have to do the last few things, of course, as always. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. My morning, your... Tell me what it is for you. Evening, afternoon. Welcome, anyway. So, eh. I have to put my model on my screen so I can see it appropriately. Okay, I think I am almost there. So how are you today? Let me, I do not even, where, where is my chat? There is my chat. Good morning and how are you? <laughs> I hope you're well. I am a bit tired today. Uh, still every week I have to increase my new medication and it uh, always I always uh, feel it every day uh, every time I have to increase it so but it helps so that's all that's all we want right that is all we want you should be yeah, you are hearing me you're hearing the music I have to get the headphones on my head in a way that you do not see the cable all the time. That would be quite helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, so, and I, I have to, uh, no, I think we're, we are set. I have to get this cable out of the camera. This doesn't belong there. I think you should see everything well enough. So let's grab our coffee and start. Okay, where is my measuring stick? My beloved trusted measuring stick. I can use any other long uh, thing for that, but a little bit of superstitiousness, I think is okay. Hey Shakira. Perfect. Not good to hear that everything is good with you. Um. Yeah, I went for Antman, as you can see. And we will say, we'll put him somewhere. In the middle, ideally. Bon. Head will end about here. And let's see where we have to put everything else. Of his face. Uh, it's it's a difficult one again because we do not have something like a third or something. Take a third away of his face. I think I'm. I should have already marked one side i could have marked one so it would have made it easier for me but yeah something like this so they are the ears without the ears we get him again until the start uh, middle of the eyebrows more or less Yes, see, see if he was one of your favorites. 
The crazy thing about Paul Rudd is his age. I don't remember it right now, but he does not look his age. It's it's he hasn't aged for I don't know for for a couple of years, for a couple of decades. He is late forties or something. I don't know. He doesn't look that. Okay. Um. Wouldn't it be funny if he was were the same age as uh, um, what's his name? Sammy, the other Iron Man in the movie. Oh, how can I forget his name? Dustin Hoffman. That would be funny. Um, no. I wanted to. Oh, let me guess. We will. We will correct that. We will say the ears are somewhere around here. So here's the hair. So I may have to move forward. Let us move forward. We will correct anyway a lot of the stuff in the course of uh, our session. And then here we have the eyebrows. Then we have the eyes somewhere here. The eyebrows are, I drew it pretty straight, but he has a cocked head. So it is more like this. I already destroyed it again, something like this. Hmm. That one came out of this one. Ah, do, have we used up the first one of these? Right, Keanu Reeves, he, he has made movies for so long. He has to be quite old, but he doesn't look that. Uh, I have to get a new, um, back in a second. It doesn't even warrant the break screen. Don't even ask me why I put them so far away. To be careful that I don't roll over my microphone cable because that cable is long and it feels expensive. Have you ever had a cable that feels expensive? It's the first new one I need, so I have to remove the seal. This is a pretty good packaging for that. Uh, you just twist it and then you get one out. And the opening is pretty small, so not all of them are coming out at the same time. Only thing is you cannot really see how many are left in there because if this was completely clear, that would be more helpful. Okay, so crisis averted. So we have something like that, I would say. We, after all, um, we'll work on that later. Um, I, number one, I, number somewhere here, number two, same more or less same angle of course eyes are differently angled in themselves but we will go for that uh, later and now uh, we will uh, let me check where if, if we are lucky and the nose is halfway between uh, almost his nose is a bit longer not 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 in this direction in this direction then then a then a standard nose i would say so if this is half and it is approximately half between chin and eyebrows um the nose is a little bit lower
if I didn't measure wrong. Which is a possibility, but we will be working anyway on that. So, and in the middle, the well, if we are lucky, the lower lip uh, starts or ends, depends on your perspective, um, halfway. No, the nose is making us a little bit of a, more like here. And we have the nails a little bit higher again. So we will correct a lot. But this is this is roughly the position where what we are talking about. What is your next project now, Shark, now that you have seen the whole MCU and you are up to speed, which I am very impressed that went very fast. <laughs> So we have a little bit of a cleft in his chin, which makes him really more of a traditional. It's it's interesting. He has this this goofball atmosphere, but if you would look at him in the eighties, this kind of face in the eighties would have been a sex symbol. I think it's not not really unattractive but it's not not that I don't know do you do you understand what I mean he's far from unattractive he would not be so successful if he was unattractive but um, I just think it interesting you can say I'm wrong, then it's not interesting at all. But I find it interesting how from he would do a real non-comedy action hero to today he is, has a comedy face. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Hey, Yorkshire Puts Gaming, welcome to the stream. We are drawing Iron Man today and I'm already rambling like like a drunk, although I'm not even allowed to drink alcohol right now. So we start the ears a little bit over the nose. We should be pretty okay with that. We have ears. On this side, we have to go a little bit up because we have a tilt. I try not to eliminate that tilt because it's it's part of the expression he has in this picture. Uh, I was actually thinking about another picture, but he is a goofball and he looks a little bit goofy in this one, so I prefer this one. I was actually thinking about Drawing Iron Man, taking the the youngified Dustin Hoffman version from uh, from Endgame, and draw that one because I'm actually a little bit I, I I like how they set up the story with with the two Iron Mans and having the actual Iron Man in the past a little bit because that also gives gives the MCU a little bit of a more time depth. You know what I mean? It's not just everything happening at once. There was always a little bit strangeness around. Um, and Hank Pym is not always very nice. So it's, it's, it's a good fit. But I, I think I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the young Hank Pym. It would be interesting if they cast a younger version and do past movies I don't think it would make sense to make Dustin Hoffman old all the time not financially and he would not probably not be able anymore I do not want to assume but some of the action sequences could be difficult for him
Ah, Lee's not there, okay. <laughs> you could come in with both accounts, you know. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so... Laney on official business with the official jo Yorkshire Puts account. Shaka, have you seen the their video of Phasmophoria? I've played with them. I've posted the video also on the... Uh, I think I posted it on the Discord. I wanted to. I think I did. I definitely had some, some tweets out. Uh, we I played with them last week on Wednesday Phasmophoria. And they posted the video on Saturday, I think. It's a feature. You do not have any other movies to watch anymore. You can watch that one. It is over an hour long, so <laughs> gives gives you something to to pick yourself up after you cannot watch any Marvel movies anymore. I cannot play those types of games. Uh, alone, I would just kill me. I have tried to play it. I'm always, I can always only play one round, and then the second one I normally just quit at some point. And say, okay, that's it. I don't need any more evidence for you, ghost. I know you're a ghost and I'm gone. I felt I, I actually I have to really watch out if we play again. Um, I have to really watch out that I, I'm not taking over the leadership of the group. I'm sometimes I can be a little bit. I don't know. A bit over present, let me let me tell it say it like that. I I don't think that's a word, but it should be. I shouldn't be that present. Next time I will uh I've taught you everything I can, Yorkshire puts. Next time one of you will give the commands and I will only um, only follow orders. Let's see how long that, uh, that lasts. Hey Cyril, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, I, I um, had him on my list. I wasn't actually not sure. Uh, I decided on a whim today. I felt a little bit like like Iron Man and Paul Rudd. Um, and this is a, more, a little bit more of a goofy portrait. So he, I, I think this picture really represents the spirit of the Scott Lang Iron Man. So. The interesting thing about Paul Rudd's face is it is very interesting. <laughs> it sounds a bit redundant, but it really has a lot of interesting characteristic. He has a very prominent nose, not not in a bad way. He has a prominent nose. He has this always this little boy smirk on his lips, and he has these eyes which are very recognizable. Um, and he has very strong cheekbones. He has this. I would say classic skin, uh, skin, <laughs> classic chin. Um, he has a pretty high forehead. So a lot of things are very recognizable with him. So on the one hand, that gives you a lot of things that help you with the recognizability. 
On the other hand, if you don't get them right, people will pretty quickly notice. Um, but only with a couple of lines. There's you do not see. Okay, this is Arn Man. You, you're not saying. Okay, this is Scott Lang. You know. Um, it's not sharp. So, but it's already somehow like a cheap comic book version of it. Something like that. It's again not focused. So okay. But I think we can start with a little bit of shading and fleshing out. I am happy with the general position and size of stuff. Shuck, I am I am very good at following all. I, I worked for a company uh, for over seven years that trained me at being quite good at taking orders. So it's not, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I was informational. I was like an informational kiosk, you know. <laughs> if you are in charge, you order me to be in charge. Oh, we will see. <laughs> he had this. I, I don't remember in which one of the armaments. I just saw that picture again, searching for for a headshot of him, um, of him shirtless. Uh, he did work out a lot, and if you look at, he is comparatively old and I just looked at it again and said no there's not really any excuse <laughs> not to do more sports but you know medical reasons I won't have that let's hope I won't have that excuse for that long anymore uh, but right now yes medical reasons but that is I would say a goal I should put that on the bucket list you know beach bot Paul Rudd beach spot. And he's told for you, Shaq. He is not your age bracket. Not that he wouldn't be a fine selection for Sugar Daddy. He definitely has the money. I don't know. I think it's... Oh, is he? Uh, something like that. Um... Shilani Desifood, please no um, uh, advertisement request in channel. I um, normally visit everyone who leaves a comment under my videos. I will see what kind of stuff they are doing, check them out, and if I like it, I sub. But I normally always also at least leave a comment. But please don't just come in and ask directly for support. That's not how it works. With Marvel main age is just a number. <laughs> well, I think it 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 ends uh, with a couple of Marvel men, for example, the traditional aunt men. Well, look at uh, Tom Holland, that's the other way around, right? We know he is already um, of age in about every country <laughs> that I can imagine, but still he was playing a teenager that was not of age, at least for the 
country he lives in. Um, and they still had a shirtless scene, so I sometimes don't know how I feel about that. But in the end, who really cares? So we have an eye that, yes, very small eyes, I think. But yeah, Lainey, the topic we've talked about with um, comments under videos and getting subscribed that way. Also in the last stream where you were in, a couple of those just coming in and screaming and just saying once something. That's the live stream version of that. <laughs> as long as they don't. Uh, aren't offensive and aren't pushy. I'm fine with that. But I always hope that the people are here for more than just one comment for self-promotion, you know. Bucket list, get poor Rat Beach ready bot. I have a bucket list channel on my um, Discord, if you haven't seen that, I'm I'm hesitant to put in Porrad Beachbot in that bucket list, but just a, a symbolic list of stuff I would like to do um, once I am able to do stuff again, hopefully, and definitely getting fit again um, is high up there. I'm not sure I want to post it in my bucket list though. Tom Holland, he is, he is. He is young, but he is a perfect Peter Parker. I really like him, it's Peter Parker. And he does that job very well. And he has to be more wiry, less uh, he-man, he-man-y. <laughs> you know? Well, he's, he's the nerdy, nerdy hotness. People say he's hot, people think he's hot. So we cannot deny that he has a certain appeal. And I think it's the, the nerdy one, actually not too far away from, uh, from the Iron Man hotness because he's also not classically, he is classically handsome in some way, but he's not, not the superhero uh, Captain America. You know? So the tech nerdy hotness. Um, Scott Lang also has more of that. Uh, I think, although we know that he is pretty fit and has to be when he is a um, thief and uh, cat burglar or whatever you want to call it. I have a feeling this eye is a little bit too far on the left. Not sure yet how far how to fix it. That should be enough. I 
Who is he? <sighs> Who would you snog, marry, avoid? He doesn't have that much abs. <laughs> he didn't have in the first Iron Man movie where he was a little bit... He has a good body for the type of person he is. But Robert Downey Jr. never had a real superhero body. He's very fit and I would be glad if I would look like that. No, no doubts about that. I don't want to say anything against that, but... Um, Tom Holland has more muscles. No, perhaps not. He has less tissue over the muscles, so you see them better, but not so far off. He does not have the amazing Thor body or something, not close. Yeah, nobody in his right mind would marry, well, Tony Stark. Um, not sure about Robert Tony Jr. He makes actually very nice, he leaves a very nice impression. Well, the thing with Quiet is Robert Downey, if he is a bit more active, you don't have to be, you know? You are active by association, so he's active for you. I sometimes um, am glad that I um, can lean back sometimes and say, okay, I, I don't have the wheel, I don't have to uh, be the active one. Someone else is doing it for me. I'm still not... I'm hesitating. You can perhaps notice that. Um, so I'm not still not 100% happy. Well, I, I am actually pretty happy. That's not the reason. Um, I am, let me, let me clarify that. I am, um, hesitant because uh, of the couple of issues I had with past ones where I went too fast into the details. And then I noticed that the eye was somewhere, somewhere off too small, too big, on the wrong position. And then I could definitely not repair it anymore. So I'm just taking extra care and trying to see it differently. Um, if I am okay with what I see. So I would probably, before I go into detail with the eyes, for example, I would probably um, do more with, with nose and mouth to get them a bit more prominent in a way than I can say. It looks a little bit like Porrad. And then I can go forward with the more details. One of my screens where I see some details uh, is directly behind my um, the tripod for the light. It is a bit dumb. I could not get. Uh, I I want one of those those arms for the monitor, you know, so I can move it around. Should probably get one of those arms for the light. I don't know.
He looks so young in my picture. Not sure who, who I'm drawing, but it's a nice looking fellow. So let's continue. What about who would use Knock Mary Void? Natasha Carol Wonder. Um, I have not said that publicly, but I always never, I never lie. I would give you an answer to your aforementioned list, not to this one. I could give you an answer to this one, but it would not be very meaningful. And I so don't like Carol Danvers. I don't like her at all. Probably also because I dislike uh, the actress. What's her name? I don't like her. Brie, Brie Larson. I don't. I don't. She rubs me the wrong way. I. I don't like her at all. She. She has. I, I think she has the right opinions. It's not like she's very feministic, and that is totally fine. I did nothing wrong with that. Um, but she she doesn't care how she comes across and she comes across as very arrogant and very I don't know aggressive not not like like violent aggressive but I I don't like her I really and and I see that character also very reflected in, in her version of um, of Miss Marvel. And while I watch like to watch that movie and I've watched it more than one time also, I am not happy with... I, I would not... I don't know how to say it. So I, I would avoid her <laughs> definitely out of that list. I think I would marry Wanda, actually. I really like her. I, I like... And we have seen her in a romantic relationship. We have not seen uh, Natasha in a romantic relationship, you know? And I don't think she's very good in it. Just because she never really had any training. <laughs> she trained a lot of things, but not... Uh, not much experience in a relationship. I don't think that would work. So. We have seen um, Scarlet Witch. It is not the right, but both are not the right persons if you're mad at, the, at each other. Um, you don't want either of them to be mad at you, you know? They both could probably do with me whatever they wanted to because I would be a little bit afraid. I think she she knows it to a certain extent because of her friends. Um, or she knew. I think in her own right with, with how her life was in the later years. I think she was pretty happy with that. I'm not sure if she would ever want or need something like she She has seen it all. With, we know she she was really close to Hawkeye and she visited their family a lot so she knew um, she knew all of that from there saw it um, perhaps longed for it in a certain way but I also think she would not not be happy it, it is like you know greener pastures it's it's like but I don't think that's the right saying what I mean. <laughs> you always want what you don't have. And I think that is 
would be the case here. I don't think she would be happy in a in a regular relationship. If it would be something like she could go outside with with her husband and um or wife. We've never been told. Um, and she would just be able to clobber all the bad guys with with them. I think that that would be a relationship she could get on board with. Everything else, I don't, I'm not sure would work out. They never even... They never expect... They, they never expressed that... Yeah, she, she had the, the fling, I would say, with with Dr. Banner and I so hoped that that would work out. I was very sad that it didn't, but I'm, I'm not sure she, I don't know. Well, I don't know how to behave, so I'm not sure if that would work out. You know, So I, I think I have to start. Uh, we are also 42 minutes in. We need some color in this. Color in this face. No? Okay, let's start. We will color in both eyes at the same time. We will then, with this a pencil we will then I'm I'm oh, sorry. I have to change my position a little bit again then I'm less likely to to block the camera because that was really a pain in editing. And it's not so nice for you. You know? Um <coughs> we will do it in this pencil, then we will on both eyes, then we move on to the darker pencil on both eyes. Um, but I will never just concentrate on one eye again, I think, at least for a while. I did that with uh, with a Black Panda one, and that was my downfall there. That I did so much on one eye. I never considered its relationship to the rest of the face. And that's why the eye looks good. But it's... In the wrong place. But we fixed that. Final version is good. I somehow I, I love the expression <laughs> in my rendition of him. Uh, maybe when you marry her, we could get her on into UFC. She could fight for us. <laughs> Make a little catch on the side. That sounds like a plan. Not sure if, the, if that is the kind of action she wants, though. I think she is she is pretty good at saving the world, and I think you, with all of them, you would have to, if you really loved them and wanted to marry them, you would have to accept uh, their choices and what they are doing with their lives. And I think what they do is important. So I'm very sorry to tell you, but they should continue with what they are doing. I think saving the world is pretty pretty okay um, way to invest your time. A bit dangerous. You see with Pepper that she's not very happy with what Tony does, although she knows that he needs to do it. That is an interesting case, you know. Gwyneth Paltrow, totally kooky. Look at Goop, it is really i have no words for it i really have no words for it um but i really like pepper Potts. she plays her so likable she's a great actress or she would not be able to play a character that i really like in comparison to how she normally acts Oh, there. Ha! I looked for you, my friend. But I need you sharper. I should arrange a couple of things. 
it's a bit eh. uncomfortable. Now I should use a, I had one here, something to, you're not the right one. I, I had one that f for some reason got some, some stains, but this is very stained already. It has a lot of uh, pencil on it. It might hurt the picture. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, really. I really hope that they would continue with that relationship. Well, Hawkeye seems to be a fantastic parent. As you can see when he, they don't call him that way, but in the comics, that version of Hawkeye is Ronan. They gave a little nod to that name, uh, putting him into Japan. But, um, yeah, it is, he is, he seems to be a very good father. I guess everyone has this darker side. And if you are such a good father, if something happens to your family, or such a good mother, if you would be such a good mother, something happens to your family, you would just go crazy on everyone's asses. So I think, I think you cannot really be mad at him. I would prefer if we would not just run around and kill a bunch of people, maul them. Well, they, they, the Marvel Universe is, uh, movie universe is, is not short of, of deaths for the bad guys. It's not a bad man situation, but he's extreme. I, I if, if you marry her, I would definitely not take over your communication with Natasha Romanov, just so you know. You can do that yourself, you know? I'm also not sure, I think even Mormons stopped marrying more than one person. I'm not sure, did they? Do they still have that option? I'm not sure which kind of religion you would go have to go to, to both being able to marry her. You should do some research on that before you propose. Something makes me very unhappy about how this turns out. It's very flat. I think I will have to go right in with a black stone and then move to the other eye because this eye needs to be dark, man. Then I can get a better idea. Um, of how dark the surroundings have to be. That's my hope. Oh, I have to be careful. I was in normal uh, sharpening mode and you can't do that with this. Extremely breakable. Pen.
Okay. Guys, by the way, I am really happy with how my Joker turned out. And thank you for pushing me <laughs> to use the red. It might not be my favorite part of it, but it it got something with it, I think. It would not have been ruined without the red, but it gained a little bit of personality. So, good choice. This looks so, I don't know, smudged, even without using smudge stick again. Looks a bit boring. There's not much there yet, so. We we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, of course, but it's it's a bit boring. I think I have to go more into the surrounding areas to get more of the personality in. I think that will help a lot. And of course we need the reflection in the eye and I will directly add them because that gives us back a lot of personality directly. I'm not in. Nah. Nah. For my own well being, I probably would definitely marry Tom Holland before I manage Peter Parker. Once he's eighteen, please. But before I before I marry her, I would marry Peter Parker. I would marry a lot of people before I marry her. I've baggage enough. I don't I don't think I could be that much of help. I don't think it would be a good idea. Not a good fit. And yes, I can be a very jealous person. I don't group marry anyone. I almost forgot that it was the gel pen and wanted to draw as if it was this one because I did so much other stuff already. So I have to put the flow back in because I waited so long.
It's crazy how much the white in the eyes does for a picture, isn't it? Can you see? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I get the feeling that you now let your um, bank account do the planning and it's not 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 pure hard anymore I don't want to assume here but but it's kind of a vibe I get you know so you might check the pureness of your intentions again in intentions again they might have been a bit muddled just saying It gets better, which in itself is not that hard yet, but you get more context, you automatically, it gets a little bit more exciting. Right now he looks very sad, uh, but will be remedied because I've on everything that makes him look sad, nothing of what makes him look nice, amused. Okay, so. You assume right, I see the financial potential. Yeah, money, money, money. First tips on Thor. <laughs> Guys. Not that kind of channel. We are family friendly. Let us get back to topic. And talk about killings and deaths. Just joking. Do whatever you want. I'm thankful that you're here. And I'm not sitting here all by myself. I would delete that part. It's a bit very dark, I think. Let's do the rest first and then decide how dark we have to go there. Okay. By the way, I am com still completely 
confused uh, Lainey, about if my microphone now works or not because in the options menu it said it works I did not get any text message on the spirit box and it should tell me uh, at least no signal or something it did not do that um, so a bit strange and when I watched the video sometimes when I talked said the name it seemed like the ghosts were reacting so probably I only get all the bad things right now that they hear me but it doesn't work as precise perhaps that the checkbox to to accept uh, my accent was for some reason deactivated again before I started the game I have no idea I checked it directly before I don't know This is not poor right yet. Far from it. So how do we ratify him? Hmm? How far do we go with um with the shade, I'm in the camera again. Uh, with the shading, I mean, how dark will be the dark places? How light will be the light places? I would try to implement these light points, the reflections on his nose, without the gel pen. But I might use it just also because and it actually gives it a bit of coherency if, if I'm using the same white. Um, for more or less the same white, you know. I can sing better if I want to, you know. I can't sing good, but better than that. That was comedic singing. You know. I might try to rouse the ghost next time with singing. It might annoy them so much that they kill us right away in the first five minutes though. So this will be the minimum darkness we will have to go with uh, on the left side of the face. And a lot of the right side will also have to be this dark. Well, we have the this part which should stay lighter. The direct light reflection. Well, we can still remove it with um, with the eraser if we need to. So I'll try to get it right, but we don't have to invest hours and hours into this. Guys, you know that the stubble that he has will probably take up the, a complete stream. I'm not sure yet. Uh, how long that will take and how we will do it. But 
We will do something. Perhaps I will do that off stream when it really takes that long. But the thing with this double is you will really have to place all of the single hairs. Of course they do not have to be pixel perfect uh, in comparison to the original, but still. Um, they cannot look too, too orderly, you know, they cannot look like like a row of seats in, in a theater or something that would look like he has hair replacement in his face. I kind of like it right now, that means something terrible will happen, probably very soon. This area is still a bit, I don't know. Um, doesn't really line up with the, probably have to, to increase the size. You know these, I don't I have no idea. It probably has a name, this cleft area, I don't know. But that is something we all have. And something we need to consider and show. Uh, and it is here a bit strange because he has the tilted head, he has the very um, expressive facial expression. Uh, nice thing, maybe when I reviewed it seemed like they hurt you. Yeah, it seems that, right? We should do an Xmas album. I'm not sure that we should. <laughs> I'm not completely on board with that idea. Um, you can sing, I will draw you an album cover or something. How about that? Comedic is the best, everything comedic is the best kind. The world is um, serious enough, isn't it? Why so serious? Uh, if it gets Lee killed, then I'm cool with it. End the game, right? Or are you already thinking about getting out of the marriage because of the superheroes? Not sure how he will think about that. He probably won't watch um, the whole stream though, so he might never know. Um, please let him woo the ghost. Well, we need this on recording as proof. <laughs> Parat has beautiful eyes. Very kind looking eyes in my opinion. In which version though? Um, this looks very still. It, it looks like a bit constipated. I hope we will get that out of there. Um... Yeah, okay. What me what should surprise me a lot uh, from um, streaming here on YouTube is how many people are watching actually um, the stream afterwards. That's definitely not the case with Twitch. So if you're watching this stream after the live, thank you very much for watching. Welcome. And yeah, just checking. Leave me a message in the comments if you heard this after the live stream. But 
but most of your time I get not only because of you very loyal my dear dear loyal viewers um, but also afterwards from other people it is strange I no it's not true I actually have also uh, one channel where I watch the whole whole shebang it's a gaming channel though where I'm watching three hours dreams Well, art streams do have kind of a um, relaxing effect. No, you could put something like that on for for going to sleep. <coughs> I'm not sure it is the kind of stream that you uh, get your snacks for, um, get a drink and then sit down in front of the TV and watch it just without breathing if he places the line right I'm not sure it's that kind of deal it might be with some people and if you're one of those thank you very much for choosing my video for that I'm very happy you did You're so close to, to 100, Laney. It's amazing. Went pretty far f fast in the last couple of days, weeks, to be honest. And I think the, the f f branching out can help. You're more like a specialized channel though, so I'm really am not sure which is a good approach for you, but I think putting something in like like Phasmophoria from time to time does help a certain extent. Could could help a certain extent. I have no idea. Uh, he says he's immortal. Who is immortal? Lee? Is he back? Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> no, he isn't, but we have talked about it a lot. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for answering my question that I hadn't really answered yet. Uh, asked yet. Scared me for a second. Also, you have to sing lead in our album. Lenny and I will sing backup and maybe have a solo each at some point. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. You don't want me as your lead singer. Okay, so we do that. I watched Game Edged in the prison. I have not seen the prison yet i'm not sure it, 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 is it uh, which size is it is it more like like the high school or is it more like like any of the houses is it in between i hope it's not bigger because i don't enjoy the really big ones to be honest because i don't like it when finding even the room of the ghost is the main thing i think the main thing should be to find out what kind of ghost it is not necessarily where it lives so i'm actually very happy that it is pretty easy with the thermometer to find the ghost so i don't need to run around a big big area and searching for the girls for 15 minutes of course it makes it more dangerous and everything yeah i can see that but it's it's not the main draw for me so i'd like a prison but i would prefer a prison 
like I don't know in the Wild West where there is a couple of cells but not necessarily different wings. Um, bada 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 I can't wait until you guys are big and famous and can be like, yeah, I'm friends with some famous people. <laughs> I always tell you, you have to start soon. Your streaming career. But I have to say, I, I'm not sure that this time works very well for streaming. As I said, a lot of people seem to watch it anyway afterwards, so it's not that big of a deal. But I might get tempted because there's not much much live audience growth, I'm sorry. Um, I love you all. I might be tempted to try another time. Right now I'm actually thinking to do that in addition, so not to lose these streams. But depends on how my um, energy budget develops, you know. Does it get, I'm, I'm not sure and I don't see it yet. What do you guys think? Does it get start to get a little bit at least at, of a poor rod vibe? I don't see poor rod yet. I have to say, sadly. And I'm not sure I th the mouth will help, I hope. So right now it's just, just an approximation that does not really help, of course. But sometimes the eyebrows help, that's why I'm trying to add a little bit of that. The eyebrows will definitely help to take a little bit of the paint constipated look and turn it a bit more in a warm look. You see already, I, I at least have the thing. Have I changed anything? I just pressed the button. Sometimes OBS reacts and destroys everything, so, but it looks okay. Okay, nothing bad happened. Um, Back to what I tried to say. Have to open the browser so I can see what you're writing. Um, I think this, for example, doesn't look as paint anymore. The side. So if we add the eyebrows here, it might help to take that constipated look away. Uh, what are you talking about? You bought Among I haven't played Among Us. Never played. I, I always wanted to. So if you have me for one session. Um, I could try to. I'm not sure that I would be any good. Um, people tend to trust me, so I might be a good imposter. Although you have to play, to, you have to be kind of a good actor, and I'm not. Especially not in my non-native language. So that could hurt me, so I don't know. But if you set something up with people, if you want to, I can join. After all, it's dirt cheap. I think I d should do something like, like gaming bottle for example like i did the the light bottle do something with with the among of among us characters or something like that i have half of an idea 
about that right now. Just forming in my head. I won't talk about it. Perhaps I will do it. Um, but it's only half of an idea. It is... You know something, the way I sometimes think about it. I think that would be cool, but it's not really fleshed out and it's not really something you could start doing because it has the shape of an idea, but it somehow is missing the core that makes it something that could also become real. I'm, I'm babbling, I'm sorry. Sometimes my philosophical side tries to get out and I am too late in reeling it in. Okay, less constipated if you ask me. I should draw in the uh, eyebrows sooner. Okay. I definitely see Paul Rudd mit, uh, see Paul Rudd. Thank you very much. There is a definitely there, I'm starting to see him, but yeah, the mouse is where he will pop out. I hope, I hope, let's, let's. You, in uh, in UK you do too. Cross your fingers, because in Germany actually this means I hold this behind my back and I can lie, and it doesn't count as a lie. It's a child thing. Not so much. You don't do that actually in in contract negotiations or something. Yes, yes, you should buy this. This is a very good project uh, pro product. Best way to see is cover the picture where it is not detailed and it helps to see. Yeah, exactly. That's why I hit this eye. It starts to it starts to get better. It starts to get closer. It actually might also be a good trick to help drawing it and concentrating more on that part. Thing is, you guys can't see the whole picture either. Among Us does look like fun. It does look like a lot of fun, but uh, I don't think I would be good at it. <laughs> yeah, I also enjoyed the, the bottle thing. It is a bit more bare bone. You do not need that much material, but that was also something just I had in my head for now a couple of weeks when I started to think about doing more crafty stuff. Um, so I really thank you for saying that. I am taking a little bit of pride in it because I'm actually the, the end result turned out nicer than I thought it would. I, it is more of a bare bone project because it's just a couple of sprays you layer on top of each other. Actually, it's not, not that much behind that. Um, but the end result doesn't betray it. The end result looks pretty sophisticated and that is, that is, I think, what you want, right? You want to have a pretty simple project that about everyone can do. And let the end result look pretty professional. I've seen a couple of videos on um, YouTube flying around where with the best intentions, the end product sometimes looks more like something you did yourself. I think the the goal is to create something that does look kind of commercial, isn't it? <laughs> Sell your soul with every video. Still thinking about that Etsy shop for for the coasters. Well, 
What are you using for uh, recording uh, your gameplay, Laney? <laughs> Never trust a nice person. Where there are different kinds of nice persons, I am one that you definitely should trust. Always, with everything. Especially um, your online banking account data and your credit card information. Uh, oh yes, perfect. So you'd only have a couple of things to do to enable streaming. So if you want to, should we, if we, if we really play together tomorrow again, um, I can give you a quick rundown how you would um, set it up. And then it's really just the decision if you press the start streaming or start recording button, you know. Something like a starting screen or so is also quickly done. So if you need help or something like that. Uh, you could actually use what you already have. You know, your your starting screen you're putting in front of the videos. You can just add it to a start up scene of, uh, of OBS. With Streamlabs OBS, at least you can configure in a way that it directly also records and does not only stream. So you would have all your video files already available locally as well as on YouTube. That's also cool. <laughs> well, I, you, you either uh, die a hero or see yourself become the villain, you know. I think there is a certain... If you are a nice person uh, and life is not very nice to you, it is a difficult choice to stay nice, you know. You sometimes don't really want to. But you both know that. <laughs> yeah, but even for the first stream, nobody would really expect you also to, to have that starting screen. So it's, it's completely trivial to stream. And I would propose to do it to stay on one platform. I started streaming on both. And when I became affiliate, I streamed a bit on Twitch because it is somewhat, um, it is technically, it's a much better platform. Gives you a lot of options that that YouTube just doesn't. Uh, it hurts to, to leave those options like your own emotes, Stuff like that. Incentives really for the people to to watch you and stay with you. It is really not very smart that YouTube doesn't have similar things to offer you as a, also as a smaller streamer. You can do a little bit more stuff once you are monetized, but 
That's so far away. Is the lower lip not big enough? I think it needs to be a bit bigger. He doesn't have the strongest lips. I have to be a bit careful that I don't overstate them. You can be a nice person even if life hasn't been nice, but you just need to be more cautious with how nice you are and who you are nice to. Yeah, definitely true. Hey, Outcolor Gamut, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining us today. How are you? Um. Yeah, I think that's, that's a lesson every nice person learns though, right? So it's, well, it is... It is a dangerous lesson. Um, a, a nice person either learns not to be nice or they learn to, it's okay to be nice, but it's also okay to protect yourself a little bit. And it's not, not nice to do that. And I think that's that's a difficult lesson to learn. You can be very good to yourself. It looks a bit like Obama right now, doesn't it? I just got Obama vibes. Hmm. Um. And you learned that earlier, you're still young, you know. I took a lot longer. And you can be very... Um, Dumb that way. Stubborn. Okay, I think we are entering a, other than this looks like a very young uh, Barack Obama right now, um, we are entering a certain amount of similarity and um, starts to become a bit more attractive, the picture as is. I think actually that the um, stubble will also do again a lot. It is funny. For me, it is funny because it gets closer to Paul Rudd, but it also gets closer to Barack Obama. <laughs> I see Barack Obama right now. It's great to convey sad eyes. 
You are very talented success too. Thank you very much. You don't see Obama, Shakira? I, I sometimes see people in, in faces that others don't. I think because I, I get attached to certain details um, and interpolate from just a couple of details that are perhaps not completely obvious. And the, the eye area and the nose and even the mouth a little bit. It, but especially the eyes, I think, scream a little bit of... I should photocopy this and just make a Barack Obama version out of it. Saves me a lot of of work. It would be an interesting uh, experiment. That would be an in interesting experiment though. Thing is, I would need a photograph. I'm not that good at inventing details for a specific face. I would have to because I probably would not find a Barack Obama picture where he looks this way. Although there should be a lot of Barack Obama pictures, so might even be lucky. Oh, the cursor. <laughs> Thank you for saying. That could be. Um, the unofficial Porat Barack Obama love child. We'll see. I think once I have even put in these little areas here, I think one of the things is Barack Obama also has a very narrow face. That could be one of the things that make me think of him. The part that we had that one. So we have, we're approaching a point where I could say. Um, it's a good breaking off point for the stream. But I might want to add a little bit of the forehead actually because that might remove some of the Obama flashes that I personally still get.
I didn't plan that studio. Welcome to the stream. I'm just a bit concentrating right now. So I probably saw you a little late. Welcome to Antman Paul Rudd. We could go for the ears, we could go for the forehead, so many things still to do. Um, I think we will, what do we do? I'm not sure. We will go, I think a little bit for the forehead, perhaps even then for the ears still. Um, so I have something, you know, always when, I, when I'm watching with new eyes. Um, the more I have to watch, but there's new eyes, <laughs> better, isn't it? So, something like that. Here. He has a lot of lines in his face, in the forehead area, so. By the way, quick poll. Um, so, other than that, uh, Shakto to taught me how to use the stories correctly in Instagram. Uh, from what I understand, it is pretty important to post daily there. Um, in case of an archer. Um, I've al always hold the, the portrait a secret when I only did the timeless video. Now I'm showing the complete process anyway and you always see the complete picture anyway and you can watch it always on my channel. So um, I still hesitate to show half finished pieces. Do you think I should, after each stream, for example, in this case, I would should take the half finished picture and put it on Instagram? It would be kind of advertisement, right? To say, this is the piece you can can come and watch how how the uh, how it develops further. I don't know, whatever. So it is more in my head the um, the want not to show half finished pictures, right? It's not really doesn't make that much sense. To all you Instagram gurus which are watching right now. Of course I always avoid the hair. The hair will be part two. And rightfully so, there is a lot of hair. It just doesn't make sense to just do half hair, especially, actually one of the, and, and that's not even, um, that's not even me trying to avoid that top object and finding excuses. Um, I want to take such big things. That's also why I'm doing this right now, actually. Uh, I always want to take Per chunks that belong together and do them um, in the same time frame because sometimes I just because I'm not that of a technical person um, sometimes the way I do things slightly differs from day to day and if I now do half the hair and then come back to it the day after tomorrow and suddenly it could happen that I just draw the hair completely differently and then not completely differently, obviously, but it might 
be just enough difference that it is obvious that it was not on the same day and stuff like that. And then I would have to draw over the one version anyway, blah, 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 blah. You get what I mean. So that is why I really prefer to do all hair in one stream. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You can encourage more people to jo jo joining us crazies in part two of the stream. I don't think that it will, because still there is not really any kind of conversion rate between Instagram and YouTube. And I get it. Uh, I've seen now um, somebody post a link. I actually wanted to watch that link. I could not even mark it in the app. So I could not even mark and copy paste it into a browser. So Instagram is horrible. It's really horrible. You should be able to even um, associate with with the pictures uh, a link so that the link is easily clickable as a button somewhere else, not directly in the picture. I don't care. They can even hide it a little bit, but there should be at least any way to, to associate a link with a posting other than advertisement, but they don't seem to need it. They don't seem to need it. People are using it this way. I really hate it. I really do not think that it is a nice way to do it. <sighs> Someone's at the door. I will leave you with my doggos. Sorry for that. More medication. Oh, I don't like this song. This is such a strange song. Okay. Um, did I miss something? Julie coming along. Thank you very much. Lee just got back. He says it looks great. Thank you very much, Lee, and welcome. Yeah, Instagram has become a really stupid app to use. I don't go on it much other than to support all the... Exactly, isn't it? Um, I don't like it. I really don't like the idea that they force you to use the app. Uh, you can... Yes, you can watch on other devices. You can post on other devices. That is just so stupid. It doesn't make any sense because no... No one just snaps photos no it's not true if you are something like a fashion icon or something and that's totally fine and probably perfect for you 
But even then, if you're really big, you will run it through a sophisticated uh, um, photo manipulation software, especially then. And so you will also not like it. It says F is F if S. It is as if not easy for non-native speaker. Um, it, it is as if TikTok would only allow you to post via the the app, which would also stop you from a whole lot of or a whole lot of different channels. It would stop them from doing anything they do. It's dumb. It's restrictive. It's on purpose. And I do not 100% understand that purpose. With the links, yes, they want to keep all the traffic uh, in Instagram. Stuff like that. But mm. I think actually we will leave the ears also for next time. So I have something to start while I am complaining about that. I also have to draw the hair. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for today. So let me just this part is actually pretty difficult. This line is difficult to to perceive. There are so many details in the arm and car colors around that is really messing with my vision. Okay, it's a bit a bit sharper. Okay, so um if you're new to the channel, there will be a second stream the day after tomorrow where we will finish this one as far as we get. Uh, if something is to do, something to fix or whatever after that, I will do that but also record it because on Monday there will be the full length, uh, what would you say, the full length uh, timelapse, exactly, uh, version, which it will be about 10 minutes, normally a bit less, but uh, Joker took quite long I was very surprised when I I did not want to make it even faster I thought about actually cutting a bit out of there but I enjoyed that video I enjoyed the the process and the picture so I just left it like that uh, and I hope uh, that is okay and exactly that will be released on Monday I don't think, I'm, I'm not sure I like this. Perhaps we will try to hide that later. I have to watch how it looks on camera. Everything too small, wait. No, it doesn't look good. I will perhaps just try to. We will see, it has to dry anyway. Okay, um, full time this release on Monday, exactly. But we will see each other, I hope. You will join me to again uh, and you will join me perhaps for the first time if you see this after the stream the day after tomorrow uh, same time yeah thank you very much for watching thank you Shakira thank you Lainey thank you Lee for coming stopping by um, Blame Light Studios all the others thank you very much see you next time and How old are your puppy dogs? <laughs> okay, I'll stay for two minutes. Um, Jesse, the big one, is six. Or approaching six. I think he, he... We got him with three. We now have him for two years, so he's probably five. Six. I think he's six. Um, I'm so bad with, with everyone's birthdays, not just my pets. It's horrible that I know my own age is something um, and Felicia is too she is quite young she um, we got her when she was not even one year old uh, 
but she is she she was more traumatized than than our big one than Jesse. So she's still not good with other people, uh, which is a bit difficult in a quarantine because you cannot really train with her because there's not much people coming here. So she's she's like you know when you try to draw circles with with a pencil that is uh, bound to a pin. So you can draw perfect pencils. She's like that when we meet people. Uh, she's always at the maximum uh, distance that she can have to the people. Uh, we would like to train her more with that. It got a lot better, but well, with quarantine, it's, it's difficult. Yeah, and the fat cat is 14. And I'm very open about talking about them. So if you join the stream tomorrow, uh, I can talk the whole stream about my dogs. I love them. Perhaps I will even get them here and take the camera because this is in theory movable, you know. We can uh, take a look at the dogs, but they are not here. Let me see. Jesse, Feely, Jesse. They're coming. Bonus stream. I hope you're still here. Or oh, this doesn't really make any sense anyway. So that is the small one. Wait, I can, I think I can. Yeah, better. Jesse. Hi. This is the long snout. Felicia. Really? And this is the small one. And there they can lie when they come and join me here. They haven't done so in quite some time. Felicia. Her color is called blue actually. It's a, not, not the most common color for greyhounds. She's very shiny as you probably could see. Okay, but that's it. Uh, that was the dog show. I actually am thinking about uh, getting them their own camera above their heads so I can activate a dog cam uh, in case they visit me. But that would be difficult to handle with the YouTube video later. So I'm not sure if that is a good idea. Uh, with Twitch you could actually add stuff like that, additional camera views um, after the stream left your machine. Uh, so you could record on your own PC without any extras and yeah, doesn't work with YouTube. At least I have not found a possibility to do so. YouTube is technically the much less flexible platform. Um, but well, people watch the recorded video more, so that's fine. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much for joining me today and have a great rest of the day or a good night.